Before watching this video, please subscribe this channel and click on bell icon to get the notifications for the upcoming classes. Problems on the polytrophic process. So a gas is initially at 6.3 Kelvin expands until its volume becomes 5.2 times the initial volume according to the PV to the power of n is equal to constant. If the initial and final pressures are absorbed 8.5 bar and 1 bar, determine the index of expansion, work done and heat exchange per gas. Okay, assume so this is not the CP, okay, CV. <coughs> so CV value is equal to point. Um, 412 and gamma so gamma value so cp uh, cv value 0 0.412 and gamma value 1.4 okay so in this the data initial data given as so t1 is equal to 603 kelvin so v2 is equal to 5.2 times of v1 and p1 is equal to 8.5 bar and P2 is equal to P2 is equal to 1 bar that is into 10 square into 10 square that is 850. This is 100 kilo newtons per meter square kilo newtons per meter square. This follows the PV to the power of n is equal to constant. Okay. So they ask you to find the index of expansion. What is n? So that is the formula is equal to so that is n is equal to log p1 by p2 by log v2 by v1 this is the formula for index of expansion next second one is work done as you know the formula p1 v1 minus p2 v2 by n minus 1 next the formula for heat transfer is equal to gamma minus n by gamma minus 1 into so work done okay here as per the data given so p1 p2 is given in the data but uh, what about the volumes volumes are not given in this data so so it is very easy to find uh, v1 and v2 as t1 is given and p1 is given that is pv is equal to mrt pv is equal to mrt formula is sufficient to calculate all the v1s that is p p1 is given v1 is given mrt but our value of r is not given but you can calculate by using here here <coughs> cp by cv is given that is cv is given cv is equal to 0.412 so gamma is equal to 1.4 that is gamma is equal to cp by cv then cp is equal to gamma 1.4 into cv that is 0.1 that is cp is equal to 0.5768 then r is equal to cp minus cv that is cp is equal to 0.5768 minus 0.412 that is 0.1648 so simple simply we can calculate p1 v1 is equal to mr t1 that is so you can calculate v1 is equal to mrt1 mrt1 by p1 that is m is equal to 1 kg into r is equal to 0.1648 into t1 is equal to 603 degrees already given by p1 is equal to 850 you can calculate using this that is uh, 0.1169 meter cube so what about v2 5.2 times of v1 that is 0.11 so this relation is given inside the problem that is so 5.2 times the initial volume final volume is 5.2 times the initial volume that is v2 is equal to so 60.6079 meter cube once v1 and v2 is calculated so almost the problem is completed okay n value so p1 p2 already the data itself it is given so v1 v2 calculated here also same p1 v1 so everything so okay now we are going to 
solve so simply so value of n okay expansion so log log p1 by p2 simply submitting the values inside the equation log v2 by v1 okay simple log 850 by log there are relation 5.2 times v2 by v1 otherwise you can uh, simply uh, give the data that is v2 is equals 0 0.6079 by okay just you go for the this type of also you can so point point six zero seven nine by point one 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 six nine that is also five point two so so you can use l and key in calculator for calculating this value log so don't use the log value log function for calculating this use e power uh, log base e so in the calculator you should use the log base e that is ln ln okay not log in calculator okay so after calculating this you can get 1.298 so that is the so you should write pv to the power of so is equal to constant this is the equation for the problem the next b work done is equal to p1 v1 minus p2 v2 by n minus 1 that is p1 so p1 is 850 into 0 0.1169 minus 100 into 0 0.6079 by 1.298 minus 1 is equal to 129.44 kilojoules okay next heat transfer what is the formula for heat transfer gamma minus n by gamma minus 1 into work done so gamma is equal to 1.4 minus n is equal to 1.298 that is 1.4 minus 1 into 129.44 okay that is 33.01 kilojoules per kg okay so very simple here only all these are comes under the formula substitutions so you uh, you already thoroughly known about all these formulas that is work done formula heat transfer formula index so index formula so once only you just plan how to calculate so by using the basic formulas this is the basic characteristic well, if you know, unable to remember so this formula you cannot uh, calculate all this okay first of all concentrate on the fundamentals by application of the fundamentals on the important problems okay next problem is a mass a mass of hair as its initial pressure of 2800 2800 kilo newtons per meter square volume of point not one meter cube and the temperature so okay pressure volume and temperature so p1 v1 t1 is given it is expanded 20 litres pressure so p2 and volume so determine the mass of heat final temperature law of expansion work transfer so heat transfer everything you can simply calculate but the cv value r value is given so everything is given cv value is given so by using so simple simply we can write the data that is p1 2800 kilo newtons per meter square v1 0.01 meter cube sometimes so sometimes uh, volume is given in 20 uh, meter cube so like this if, if the volume is given in uh, met, uh, letters then letters if letters then you put so 20 into 10 to the power of minus 3 to convert kilo newtons per as the as this type of uh, problems are not covered during this explanation so if any volume is given in terms of letters you should you should convert uh, into um, letters into meter cube that is 10 to the power of minus 3 is 
should be used to convert liters into meter cube okay okay here no problem here volume is directly given next one is the temperature t1 is equal to 400 degrees c plus 273 that is 673 kelvin so next p2 140 kilo newtons per meter square and v2 is also given 0.12 meter cube okay cp cv is also there cp okay cv not cp cv is equal to 0.718 so r is equal to 0.287 okay so you can simply calculate the mass of the air what is the mass of the air formula mass of the air mass of the air so pv is equal to mr t1 so p1 v1 is equal to mr t1 so here simply m is equal to p1 v1 by r t1 so p1 is given as a 2800 so v1 is given 0.91 r is equal to 0 0.287 287 into T1 is equal to 673. That is M is equal to 0.145 kg. Simply you can calculate. Next second one is the final temperature. Second one is the so final temperature. So final temperature that is P2 V2 is equal to MR T2. As M is already calculated here, you can use this M that is P2. So P2, okay, final temperature, T is equal to P2 V2 by MR. So P2 is equal to 140, V2 is equal to 0 0.12, 0 0.12 meter cube. So M is equal to 0 0.145 into R is equal to 0 0.28. 7 that is 130 degrees C or 407 403.7 degrees Kelvin okay minus 273 is equal to 130 degrees 7 okay degrees C okay next law of expansion so law of expansion so law of expansion what is the formula for law of expansion so third bit is law of expansion law of expansion formula that is n is equal to that is n is equal to log p1 by p2 by log v2 by v1 simply you simply submitting p1 is equal to 2800 by 140 by log 0 0.12 by point not one so simply using ln keys simply you can submit value 1.2 then you should write pv to the power of 1.2 is equal to constant this is the equation for this process so next one work done work done what is the very simple normal formula p1 v1 minus p2 v2 by n minus 1 so you can simply put all the values that is 2800 into point not one into p2 140 everything is given 140 into point one two by one point two minus one that is 56 kilojoules next heat transfer gamma minus n by gamma minus one into work done you can calculate by 28 kilojoules so next last bit so what is the last one is the so change in the internal energy simple so according to first law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics q is equal to w plus delta u that is delta u is equal to q minus w A q is q is 28 kilojoules w is equal to 56 kilojoules okay that is minus 28 kilojoules so this negative sign this negative sign indicates so internal energy is decreased internal energy you should write this so internal energy delta u is decreased this okay so this is the 
Sim, uh, this is the uh, way to cal uh, calculate the uh, determine the whatever the whatever the quantities they want to uh, they ask to determine all these problems are very very simple but just remember simple equations okay simple formulas which are uh, thank you for watching this video please subscribe this channel and click on bell icon to get the notifications for the upcoming classes and share this video.